guys, this is Tina from Shabby Dabby Dude. Oh, welcome back to my channel. So I'm here for a bit of an Etsy restock and um, yeah, to give you a quick kind of show of what's going into my shop. So I've got three tag bags here and I've also got a journal. So I'm going to move the journal out of the way and we'll just do the tag bags first. So there's three of these and I will do them, yeah, I'll do them kind of in order. So I'm going to do this one first with the orange butterfly on the front. So exactly as the name suggests they are a, a bag in the shape of a tag the um, bag has been just created from some scrapbooking paper and then it's just decorated up with various different bits and pieces um, and you've got some lace on there and things so yeah I mean obviously you could deconstruct the bag you could put it you know in your journals as it is you know however you like and then inside each of the bags you've got 10 tags and the tags are completely different and completely kind of um, you know, one of a kind, um, you know, in each of the packs. So there's no repeats or anything. And they're going to be a different, you know, variety of different shapes and sizes. Well, sizes, not necessarily shapes, I suppose. But yeah, shape, uh, sizes, <laughs> sizes. Now, I'm not going to dwell too much on the backs because, of course, these are tags. So the backs are going to be effectively plain or neutral coloured. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to kind of like whiz through. So this is kit number one or tag bag number one with the orange butterfly. So tag number one, tag number two, tag number three, tag number four. This was one of those lovely ones that we did um, with the Gale, you know, inspired uh, greaseproof paper. Um, tag number four, I think we're up to. Number five, number six, number seven, whoops, number eight. This is another one of those Gale inspired tags. And the last one, did I get, did I do ten? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. So that's your 10 tags in tag bag number one. And it's just really nice to have, you know, tags on hand ready to use, isn't it? So, and it's nice to incorporate, you know, other people's work, I guess, in your in your journals. So tag bag number two, again, it's exactly the same. It's a tag shaped bag made from scrapbook paper, this time with this pink um, large butterfly on it. And then it's got some lace and various bits layered up. You've got some sari silk here as some detail and then you've got 10 tags inside there so first tag here it's just got one of those little dangles that we kind of patinaed up this is the second tag tag number three i have to say kind of like um yeah it has killed me to put this one in because actually they just wanted to hoard this one um anyway yeah that one gorgeous um, this tag here, this one here, you've got like some tags with wax seals in this one and things. So yeah, I mean, like I say, they're all completely different tags um, in each one of the bags. So hopefully you've got, you know, just a really good variety that would go with, you know, a whole variety of different journals and things. So, and then this tag here, which, wow, I just absolutely love how that looks. It's so bright and colourful. So that is a tag bag number two, like that. And oops. I mean, obviously, it's a little bit of a squeeze in there because, you know, those tags are, you know, quite um, elaborate, I guess, in their decoration. So tag bag number three, again, exactly the same, um, but this one's got the blue butterfly on the front. And the tags that you get, you get this one here. Again, you've got some wax seal at the top. Just gorgeous tag. This one here. Got that lovely cluster with the black lace. This one here. Love the colours on this one. How gorgeous does that look? With that sari silk. This one here. This little skinny one here and you've got some kind of um, blotchy, um, you know, gold blotched onto there. This one here. This one here with these Tim Holtz dolls and this one's a fabric tag and actually you've got a fabric tag in here as well. And then you've got this one. 
and then you've got this one which is another one of those gale um inspired tags so the gale inspired ones they've got those pockets to the side so yeah absolutely love those and this one's got that tassel which oh how yummy is they are those tassels so yeah that's a tag bag number three so they are all available in my etsy shop now Oops. let's just squeeze that into there okay so that's the three tag bags now the journal it's a ring bound journal it's turned out pretty huge as as they always do so i'm just going to lift my camera slightly more because of course it is quite big so fitting it in is a bit of an issue so to give you an idea the measurements are six and a half by oops i think that's nine it's about four inches at the widest part so the covers have been made from, I can't remember now what the covers were made from. Oh, I think the covers were made from Amazon packaging. Um, so, yep, they've been made from Amazon packaging and then they have been covered with, um, you know, book page collaged up. And then they have been covered with lace and fabric and things, mainly lace from Happy Mail from the lovely Mary Ann. So thank you so much, Mary Ann, for gifting me that gorgeous blue lace. Um, and this blue, oh, what's that silk called when it's kind of got the catches on? Can't remember now what that's called. But yeah, lots of that in here. You've got one of my little tassels here on the rings. And of course, if you didn't like that, it's just attached with a bulb pin. So you could just take that off if you didn't want that on there. Um, the closure is just some sari silk. Now, the sari silk is literally, it's two lengths of sari silk, which I have knotted in the middle. And then I've just tied them round. So, of course, if you didn't want it or, you, you know, you didn't like it or you prefer to change it for something else, you could just take it off and, you know, do away with it. So, the back is just plain. It's just collaged up with these bunch of different laces and fabrics. I will be putting one of my handmade by Shabby Dabby Doodah labels on. Um, somewhere on the back. It might have to go at the top. I'm not sure wherever it will look good. It might even be in the middle. Um, but, yeah, I haven't done that yet. Um... The front cover is very similar to the back in that it's been collaged up with paper and then collaged up with a variety of lace and fabric. And then you've got one of those gorgeous toppers um, that we've made. Now, I have got a series coming up, but I'm not sure whether that series has gone up yet. So you may or may not have seen those. Um, but yeah, you've got a topper there. You've got one of those gorgeous flowers, a flower here, little fabric ruffle, which has just been glued down. Um, but yeah, lots of things going on on this cover and I just absolutely love how it looks. Then going inside the journal, and I have to say I love how this journal turned out. It's so, so pretty. So on the inside of the front cover, you've got collage papers onto the cardboard. You've got lace trim off the side, lace trim at the bottom. And then you've got a sari silk bow here. And then you've got a CD envelope which winds around the policy closure style closure uh you've got some lace here to reinforce the envelope some clustered up bits here and then when you open that envelope inside there i just popped a little vintage copy of a vintage photograph backed onto some coffee dyed paper so that's for journaling so that's in there and then underneath there you've got a whole bunch of different things so we've got some collaging going on here and then you've got a pocket from my Perfect Pockets pack here. Um, and then you've got a couple of pockets behind. So I'll do these first. So behind there, you've just got one of those little file folders. And it's just got a little number um, number tab in there. Now, it is kind of plain coffee dyed, so you could journal on that. So that just goes into that pocket. Then here, you've just got one of my little labels. And again, I just folded it over and inked it up. So again, you could journal obviously on the front, you know, or on this side, which is the label side and obviously on the inside. That just tucks in there. And then tucked in here into this pocket, you've got one of my vintage photograph printables and then you've got some genuine vintage ephemera. So you've got this little note. I think this could be written in French. Um, I've got to be honest, I can't really read the writing. So I feel like it is because I feel like this says ma chérie. Um, but other than that, I can't really make out any of the writing. But yeah, it was just in some vintage ephemera that I bought and I just love it. It's on the most fine kind of paper and just scrumptious. Then you've got some vintage newspaper. Again, it's just kind of a cutting that came with some vintage ephemera that I got. And I've just folded it up 
and popped it into that pocket. So again, I mean, that's perfect for collage and things like that. And, um, you know, yeah, lovely to have some vintage kind of genuine vintage bits. And, you know, they're mixed with the, um, you know, non-genuine vintage bits. And I just think they complement each other really well. Um, you know, so they look really, really nice. So then on the facing page, you've got one of those um, envelope pockets that we did on video. You've got some lace trim coming out here and some of this flower trim here. And then you've got some diamante um, down the bottom and some various bits layered up here. And then tucked into that envelope, oops, I just popped in some coffee dyed paper and I stapled on a coffee dyed receipt. This isn't um, vintage or anything, but it kind of looks a bit vintage, I think. And then also stapled on one of my little number tabs. So yeah, I thought that was quite a nice little piece for journaling. So that just tucks in there, oops, like that. And I did obviously fold that number over by accident. So yep, that's that. You have also got a pocket in here, which I must have left blank by mistake. So let me just pop in just a journaling card. Obviously this is now white because it's not been inked up, but yeah, better to have it than not have it as, um, probably my my take on that so yep you've got a journaling card in there now going over the page we've got this envelope which we did in the Christmas series um the countdown to Christmas using up supplies so that's just a belly band you've got some vintage um copy of some vintage document that's tucked into the belly band part then it's also a pocket in the side and again you've got some genuine vintage ephemera so this was a you know all in some um you know vintage ephemera that i've bought and you've got some gorgeous little images there um from some christmas i mean to me that looks like it could be victorian type bits for scrapbooks i don't know um but yeah i mean i just think they're absolutely lovely aren't they so and that's how they were in the ephemera when i bought them in this envelope and yeah just wanted to kind of include them exactly as they are so they just tuck into this side of the envelope and then tucked in the top, you have got, oops, if I can actually get to it. So very tricky, I have to say, I did struggle to put it in in the first place. So I just tucked in one of my vintage printables um, of this lovely photograph. And again, it's all, you know, coffee dyed and looks scrumptious and vintage. So that just goes in there. And then on this facing page, you've just got a pocket here, um, which I tucked in a couple of, principles again they've been coffee dyed so it all looks very very vintage layered up some bits and pieces here and then you've got this little clustery piece here which i just absolutely love and i have to say was hoarding so i'm surprised i managed to put it in here um and then that all just tucks in there you've got then an altered paper clip holding on a little envelope so this is just a coffee dyed envelope it's not got anything in it but how gorgeous does that look absolutely love it and that's just clipped onto here which again i mean how pretty is that it just looks lovely doesn't it and you've got lots of lace again going off the off the edge of that page so yep this little flap holds around onto the side of that belly band or pocket and then the paper clip the old paper clip just clips everything on like that so yeah really really pretty and then going over the page. Now, this is that pocket that my son actually made. So, um, yeah, I hadn't done anything with it other than kind of copy it. But I've trimmed it down and re-glued it here. Um, you know, just because his cutting wasn't that straight. Um, and, yeah, but I left it exactly as he had kind of created it other than attaching this. Um, so, yeah, there's a little pocket there made by my son. And then I just added this little cluster on the top of it as well. Only because, really, this went better then um, I can't remember whether he'd got something on there or not. But anyway, and then tucked in again, just a printable that's been inked up there and coffee dyed. Then you've got some more vintage ephemera in the form of another newspaper clip in. I mean, I can't tell you how much I love, love, love the colour of this newspaper. So, and this is from, mm, I think it says 1892. Um, yeah, I think it says 1892. You can probably see better than I can, to be honest. Um, this is much older. The one on the other page, I think, was 1932 or something. But yeah, this one is super, super old and just scrummy. So um, yeah, that just tucks in like that. And it's oh, just lovely. Feels lovely. Looks lovely. Yeah. 
Then I've got that vellum pocket that we made when I did the launch of the large items printable. So that's that. And obviously it's just got holes punched in to go into the album. And we did that large printable, um, you know, journal card. It's been laminated. Now I have to say the laminated did have a little bit of a kind of like funny five minutes and did like a crease there. Again, that doesn't bother me, but I do want to point it out. You've got some doily around there and a frame and a label. Love how that vintage, uh, how that uh, journal card feels. I just love the kind of large journal cards like that. Then here you've got um, a little foldy booklet. So love how it looks on the front. And then when you open it up, you've got a little flippy pad with obviously space for journaling. You've got a little pocket underneath with a journal card. That just tucks, oops, tucks in like that. And then on the facing side, you've got a pocket with, again, another journal card and a couple of light labels there for um, journaling. And then this is just some vintage sheet music here. Um, yeah, just, just a really nice kind of, um, you know, sturdy little kind of pull out there. So again, quite a bit of extra journaling space tucked into that pocket. So oops, let's just put them in one at a time, maybe. Perhaps I won't make quite such a terrible job of putting them in. Okay, so that just all goes in there. And then on this page, you've got here um, another altered paper clip. And that's holding this little flip down like that so obviously when it flips down you've got journaling space here and don't forget this is a ring bound journal so your pages are going to be able to come out and you can journal on them you know completely flat and then put them back in you can rearrange the order of things if you don't like how they are you know it's yeah really good versatile journal and then here I've just got this is some vintage um book page and I just made a little vintage photograph style photograph um so that just tucks in like that and then the altered paper clip, obviously, you just clip on the side and that's just holding that flip closed. Oops. Let's just get rid of... Oh, come on. Ah, oh, let's just have the lace over for the uh, purposes of the video. And then you've got lots of lace, again, down the edge of that page. Very lacy um, journal, this is. Uh, here you've got a little wrap round closure and that's holding in this gorgeous postcard, which is just a printable of mine. And I just popped on a butterfly. You've then got a little file folder kind of opening with a little flippy pad inside. So you've just got some, you know, pages there for journaling. That all closes and obviously, like I say, ties in with the policy closure. So like that, you've got some vintage book page there in the background. And then tucked in the side, you've just got a printed you know printable of a vintage photograph you've got lots of lace down the side and again you've got then just a lovely bow that just coordinates with the whole you know the colors of the journal so yeah again struggling to put this in right so that's hopefully in there now and then on the facing page you've just got a pocket here tucked into the pocket you've just got one of those little flip down pieces and that just then tucks in there with the envelope flap hanging out and then you've got lace down here, you've got some bling, little um, flower trim. And then this is some vintage book page, which again, just some really nice images there from some vintage book page. So, you know, like I say, you've got a really nice mix in this journal of vintage and new. Here you've got one of those Patricia Viramontes Vira um, book page pockets. You've got a journaling card tucked in. You've got some fabric ruffles, some lace, loads of lace everywhere on this page. And then tucked in the top, again, I just did very similar to that other one with just some coffee dyed paper. Again, just folded it into three. And then this is some genuine vintage ephemera, which, I mean, how could I not include that? Because look at the colour of that ticket. Talk about perfect for this journal. So, yeah, it's in that pretty duckick. I just stapled it onto that coffee dyed paper and it just, oh, I love how that looks. It's really, really, really scrumptious. So that just goes in there. Now, these are your pages for journaling, um, which I always like to do this in ring bound journals. So you've got loads and loads of really heavily decorated pages and then you've got some really practical pages here for journaling. So they're predominantly plain other than some paper clipped bits on. Um, but yeah, they've got maybe one or two things like maybe some lace. So you've got some lace here. 
you've got some paper clipped items on this page other than that it's plain for journaling they've all got the whole reinforcers as have all the pages throughout the whole journal so tucked into here you've got one of those um coin envelopes which i just love how this one looks then you've got some printables journal cards you've got one of those little um thingamajigglies i think that was from amazon and then you've got some vintage book page again just love how that is this is some vintage um book page cover you know it was from like a little pamphlet and again i just thought color wise it went really nicely with the journal and this again is some vintage book page of these gorgeous paintings i mean i have to be honest i can't really tell you what this is it's by leonardo da vinci but yeah i mean probably just my eyes but I have no idea what that's supposed to be but I love this one so um <laughs> yeah we um just clip all of this together oops and it's oh no those those went in here and then it all clips together and then just paper clips onto that page oops like that and um, not quite like that because now I've now it's hanging off the page so yeah okay so that just clips on there and then also on these pages, I just did some stenciling with some of that duck egg um, distress ink. So just dotted around on one or two places, just keeping that blue theme. You've got a label, a little flower, some of that little lace um, trim up here, some more of the duck egg thingamajiggly. This actually is a pocket and yet again, I've forgotten to put something in it. So let me just see if I have something here beside my desk. I can't tell you how handy it is to just have these bits and pieces here. Um, you know, to be able to grab things and pop them in, even if I actually now can't really find this suitable thing. Okay, so I've got this photograph. It's not fitting brilliantly, but oh, let me just see if I can just trim it down slightly. Okay. Oops. Okay. Come on, come on. Okay, so then you've got just a principal um, journal card in there and this collaged up um, pocket on that card uh, paper. You've got one of my button embellishments. Again, some more of that blue stenciling. Another rusted paper clip. And again, it's just holding on some more genuine vintage ephemera. So you've got this gorgeous um, little piece. Now this, I'm assuming, is the other half of that little note, you know, that was on one of the first pages. That again, you know, I'm sure is in French. And um, yeah, that's again how it came to me it was in two halves you know i haven't torn it up or anything that's how it was this is the rest of that little pamphlet cover again you know i just think it's great because you've got journal in space and it is vintage um and you could even kind of make a little booklet from this put some pages in there stitch them on the sewing machine or you know sew a signature or staple them you know and then you've got a really nice cover for a journal so and that just clips on like that um, some more stenciling here and another flower and then here I just put a cluster as a tuck spot and again just included some more of that lovely um, vintage book page with some more um, nice paintings so this one it's a made on a staircase and it's such a pretty picture and yeah this one this is a Gainsborough um, just a landscape with some sheep so yeah and then you've just got a printable tucked in there as well again you've got more of the duck egg here and then here just a bit more of the duck egg and see how lovely that duck egg is against kind of the blues in the journal it's really pretty isn't it so on here you've got some more lace going off you've got some more ruffle a little bow another one of those policy closure pieces oh i don't know if i'm winding it the right way or the wrong way <laughs> okay so that's the right way. Um, and then again, you've got a little flip out here. Don't forget, again, you can take these pages out. So although it kind of looks like it's caught here, you could take this page out and then you could journal on it, no problem. And then here you've got, um, you've actually got two pockets here, which would you believe I've now missed another couple of journal cards. Let me just grab another couple from my stash. I can't tell you how brilliant this is. Um, you know, I mean, it's actually quite a long time since I had to film flip outs downstairs but yeah or flip flip throughs downstairs but wow it's so much better being able to film up here I can't tell you and like that so yeah I've just kind of popped in a couple of journal cards there um 
and I think we did this together in a video in I think that might have been the use up stash for Christmas so that's that one and then this one here you've got um, a whole bunch of collage things some lace a bow a little envelope um, that flips out and then inside that envelope you've just got a couple of oops, oh come on a couple of pieces so again just stapled on some more of that received page oh my goodness what horrible cutting has gone on here okay so yeah not not great cut in there um but just like a little scrap there to journal on and then another journaling card there so i'll put that in that way around so hopefully it'll stop it getting caught as it goes in and then here a little postcard and tucked in oops tucked in behind there oh if i can actually get it out oh <laughs> It's one of my big journal card um, number tabs and yeah, it's now kind of wedged in. Oh, there we go. Um, and it's just, yeah, plain on the back. So again, I mean, you could glue these into something else or journal on things, um, you know, as you wish. And then here on this page, again, you've got a belly band piece. I can't tell you how much I love, love, love this belly band with this cluster. It's so pretty. I love these delicate colours together. They're just so yummy. And then tucked in there again. Now this is, I think this is some genuine vintage ephemera, although now I'm not quite sure to be honest. Yep, I can't remember if I'm truthful. So it could be, it might not be. Um, and then here, this is some book page, which how much do you love that book page? Obviously it's super tatty. This is how I bought it. It was in with some vintage ephemera and wow, how gorgeous is it? I just love, love, love how that looks. So, I mean, of course, if you didn't like that, you could tidy it up and things. But why, you know, why would you? It just looks so nice like that. And then you've just got another one of those bits from, from Amazon. So, yeah, that all tucks into there like that. And then going over the page, this is the inside of the back cover. So, on this side here, again, you've just got a pocket here, sort of mid-page. And then you've got a pocket up here. So in the pocket up the top, we've got another one of those little flip downs just with some coffee dyed paper. And again, that just tucks in with the flap, whoops, with the flap hanging out like that. And then you've got here a rusted paper clip with again, some vintage ephemera. I mean, I can't tell you how all this vintage ephemera feels. It feels so scrummy. So yep, and tucked inside there, I just put a couple of my printables in the form of the vintage photographs. So, you know, again, it's a mix of old and new stuff, but you know, they go just so perfectly. And then you've got here, this gorgeous um, pockets, which again, how lovely does that look? So, and that's that marble paper that my daughter and I did the video of. Um, so yeah, I just love how that looks. And I love the fact it's that piece of marble paper that her and I did together. It's just really pretty. And then the final page is obviously the inside of the back cover where I've done the glassine bag with this um, decorative butterfly strip. You've got lots of lace, again, um, a bow and some lace down here. And then the bag itself is just as a tuck spot like that. So again, just tucked in a couple of my vintage photograph principles. They've been coffee dyed and they're massive ones. So they're really nice to hold and touch and journal on, you know. They just go in there and then in the actual glassine bag, oh, would you believe I've, I've not put anything in there. So again, I'm just going to just take a little principle and just pop that in just so there's something in that bag now. So there we go, like that. Um, and that's it. So yeah, I mean, an absolutely massive journal and, you know, hopefully you will agree that it's got, you know, a lot of good, useful journaling space in there. Um, it's, you know, it's turned out really super chunky, but yeah, hopefully really, really nice and usable as well. And, you know, something really lovely to look at. So, um, yeah, so that's all obviously available in my Etsy, obviously the tag bags and the journal. <laughs> um, obviously I do have kind of, um, a waiting list. Now my waiting list as I film this video very 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 low at the moment so you know not many people on that waiting list at all and I know I've said this before but often what happens is when I email people you know I don't end up hearing back from them 
or you know perhaps it's just not the right time for them it might not be the right journal for them you know and things like that so I mean even if I email people um you know it doesn't by any means you know mean that the things are gone um so yeah hopefully these things are available obviously I will have listed um you know hopefully whether they're sold or available um in the description so yeah I really hope that you like it all and um yep yeah, hopefully it's you know it's filling you with inspiration and yep yeah, if you want to go and check any of it out then it's all obviously in my Etsy shop now so thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys soon thanks then bye